Hello folks, thanks for tuning into the channel again. Thanks for joining me. We're looking at Aeneas on Mars, more artifacts and anomalies in uh, part one of the curious enigma of Aeneas on Mars. I'll be doing another four or five parts, so do stay tuned for those. This is where I found this huge disc-like object right there about uh, 12 to 15 meters in diameter with a small protrusion on it right in its center measuring about 5 meters in diameter and it looks as if it's uh, like a wrecked piece of metal bent up, don't know what this is um, I speculated that it could be some type of craft but then again, it might be part of some sculpture or a ruin of some sort, who knows? So the photograph we're analyzing is called Dune Monitoring, and I'll include the link to this page in the description below. Acquired on the 22nd of September 2019 at 30.3 centimeters per pixel and one by one binning. Uh, so it's the high res version of the photograph the images are cropped from the jp2 black and white map projected file and there's a crop from the low res jpeg black and white to give you an idea of what the area looks like located in the northern hemisphere in this vast dune field the anomalies are located right there and at the time of this video, the high-rise photograph hadn't been loaded to Google Earth Mars yet. So the first anomaly we're looking at is this huge triangular object over there, which measures about 12 meters long. And on top of it, we've got that little pyramidal feature right there in its center. Another triangular object, this one's also about 12 meters long and it's got some symmetry and geometry to it and right there in its center we've got this little raised part to it there we're looking at some other examples that are found in other regions on mars this one's from odds and ends in Aonia terra on mars so check that video out the other video part one the Cydonia neolithic artists and builders of mars so, more common design features and anomalies on Mars. Check out this strange anomaly. It's about 15 meters long by about 6 meters wide. And if we zoom up close, it looks like a piece of machinery or some type of wreckage perhaps. Look at the opening here on the one side. It looks like there's something sticking out of it. We've got uh, parallel lines, check that line running through the center there. And then it's got these strange dark spots on it. So the closest thing I can compare it to is this strange uh, sarcophagus type of artifact I found in part one, the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars. And this piece is also about 12 meters long as well as this piece of here and on top of it we've got these strange little protrusions or knobs arranged in two rows on that object over there so more common design features next anomaly this is also a really strange one it's about 12 by 12 meters and uh, it's got this ridge line running through its center and then uh, some symmetry to it as well check out the two sides and then comparable ones this is from weird craft and structure artifacts found in Kotka crater on Mars and uh, structures and wreckage south of Lamont on Mars part one and this is from a video called strange craft like objects and more found on Mars so do check out my older videos, uh, they might not be as good as my latest ones, but uh, there are some really weird artifacts and anomalies in those too. Then we're looking at this weird, looks almost like a fossil, it's about 12 meters long, 
and about four meters wide and it's got this strange spoon like design to it it looks as if this is hollowed out like a concave shape to it and then similar designs this is one uh, that i found in more high strangeness on mars it's got the same sort of shape to it and then this one i just thought i'd throw this in as well also long narrow object with a spoon like end to it over there weird debris found west of kafri on mars and we're looking at uh, a really weird one here as well it looks like a type of a vessel that's hollowed out like an opening to it that's about three meters in diameter and if we zoom up close check out that looks like uh, some type of opening over there to it and then uh, this one it's about six meters in diameter and it's this disc like object also hollowed out like a concave shape to it and then similar ones this is from my video the huge megalithic blocks of Elysium Planitia on Mars part 2 and then this derelict tech excavation sites and cities found on Mars and this looks like a similar design to that except this one's got a little sphere or ball in it it looks almost as if it's floating right there and uh, if I can remember correctly that's about four meters in diameter next anomaly found many of these two we'll have a look at some other examples this piece is about 12 meters long by about 6 meters wide and it's got a little protrusion or knob on it over there. There's a similar one, also same size and uh, if we zoom up close we can see it's got three of these dark spots or protrusions on it. There they are side by side and I threw in this one that I found in Halley, this is from structures and ruins near Halley on Mars. Also has a strange protrusion or knob on it as well. Here we're looking at strange megalithic artifacts. We're going to be checking out that one first. And uh, it's about 12 meters wide. And it's got some symmetry and geometry to it. In the center we've got that raised rectangular part looks almost like a flying wing design and then we're looking at the anomalies located in that area and uh, this piece is about 12 meters long this looks like a partially buried disc little conical feature on it another megalithic block over there with a dark spot near its center and another triangular artifact over there and then uh, we'll be checking out more examples of these this is about 10 by 12 meters got this like a monolithic design to it and then in front of it what looks like a hexagonal artifact as well there's a similar feature over there this is about 12 by 8 meters and in front of it also we've got a multiple sided object we can see one two three sides to it also stacked next to one another another similar design there a little bit smaller this is about eight by eight meters and uh, in front of it we've got this rectangular block also stacked neatly next to it and uh, there this is about 12 by 10 meters and in front of it we've got a little triangular object and there they are side by side for comparison this is from our video more blocks in Elysium Planitia east of Insight Lander on Mars and that there from our video the ruins of Protonellus on Mars some more common design features 
connecting the dots. Yeah, we're looking at uh, the little square object with a smaller part in the one side and that measures about 12 by 12 meters and uh, this object on top measures about 3 meters. Similar design there, this is about 12 meters long by about 8 meters wide and on top of it we've got this uh, sort of disc shaped object in its center. Similar design again there, that's about 12 by 10 meters and uh, also on top of it we've got this little pyramidal feature in its center. This is a weird design as well, this is about 15 meters long by about 6 meters wide and it's also got some symmetry to it with these two rounded sides. In the middle there looks like a little dome or sphere and then this little triangular feature coming off the center of that larger piece. And he has a similar design, this piece is about 10 meters wide and this is from our video part 2, the discs and ruins of Pyramus Fossae on Mars. Also some geometry and symmetry to this design. Also a little sphere or dome on it in the center and then that piece sticking off the one side. Very similar to that there. We'll be looking at interlocking parts. This piece is about 12 by 12 meters. And uh, you can see it's got an L shape to it, 90 degree angle there. I'm not sure if this smaller piece slots in next to it or if this is uh, carved out with that ridge line over there. And it's got a protrusion on the one corner. And uh, there's some other examples. This is from our video part two. Alignments and strange objects found near Euripus Mons on Mars. Also an L shape, 90 degree angle there, and a smaller part that uh, possibly fits in next to it. This is from our video, the megalithic ruins of Osinidium Mons on Mars. Also an L shape, 90 degree angle there, and uh, that piece seems to fit in over there. And then this piece, also an L shape with a 90 degree angle. And the block that fits in there could possibly be lying up here to the right. And this is from Structures and Debris East of Asarchus Dorsum on Mars, Part 1. We're looking at... Uh, I found a similar one to this. I just can't find the video in which I feature it. Looks like this figure 8. This piece is about 15 to 18 meters long and uh, check out that we've got two sides to it with a protrusion in the center. Yeah, some similar designs. This is from our video, the megalithic blocks of Utopia Planitia on Mars. Insight update. Also this weird larger piece with a little protrusion or smaller part in its center as well as with these two. This, these two are from comparable architectural designs in Proctor Dune Field on Mars and uh, reminds me of this strange object that they found in Napta Playa in Egypt and this is credit to ancient aliens. And now we'll be looking at more larger parts with smaller protrusions or parts on them. This piece is about 12 meters wide and in its center we've got that smaller part. Another one, this is about 15 meters wide and also in its center we've got a smaller part. Check out the row of smaller items there same size and uh, equally spaced. Check out this piece, this is about uh, 8 by 12 meters and in its center we've got this little 
pyramidal or triangular feature. Also a very common design feature on Mars. And there they are for comparison. And over here we're looking at a strange structure, megalithic in nature to the right. And that's about 15 meters wide. And it looks like we've got two sort of walls on either side of this block lying in its center in a strange design to this piece over here. And there's a similar one from our video, a more weird Arcadian technology found on Mars. So I have this rounded enclosure, similar in size and design. Curious Enigma of Tanaeus on Mars, part one. Let me know what you guys and girls think of these anomalies and share your analysis and commentary in the comments below. Please look forward to reading those. Always much appreciated. Thank you to all those that support my work and my research. If you'd like to contribute, you can always go over to my PayPal or Patreon pages. The links are in the description below. And then again, you can also find these images over at my blog for your own research. Remember, if you subscribe, to hit the notifications bell. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.